Majestic mountains and endless steps, traditional crafts and modern technologies, ancient history and rich culture, multi-ethnic people. This is our Kazakhstan, the common home that we are building together. The free and independent Kazakhstan. 30 years ago, as the Soviet Union broke up, the first president of Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, laid a solid foundation for a sovereign state. A nation seeking enhanced regional security and pursuing peaceful initiatives. Even before the collapse of the Soviet Union, by his decree of August the 29th, 1991, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev closed the Semipalatinsk nuclear test site. The young independent state made one of its most important decisions in the last century by voluntarily renouncing the world's fourth largest nuclear arsenal inherited from the Soviet Union. Building on the experience of the past generations for a better future, a nation with clearly delineated borders, state symbols, its own currency, independent institutions and armed forces. A nation maintaining friendship and cooperation with near and distant neighbors. Kazakhstan is an active member of the UN, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation and the Economic Cooperation Organization. A co-founder of the Eurasian Economic Union, the Commonwealth of Independent States, the Collective Security Treaty Organization, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, the Organization of Turkic States, Conference on Interaction and Confidence Building Measures in Asia and other international organizations. A nation with a vision and an ambition, implementing impressive projects. One of the main events in the history of the independent Kazakhstan was the transfer of its capital city in 1997. The dynamically developing city has turned into a place of major symbolism importance for the country. A beautiful and welcoming home where representatives of 130 ethnic groups live peacefully under one roof. In 1995, the Assembly of the People of Kazakhstan was created, uniting representatives of all ethnic groups in the country. Today, it plays an important role in the social and political life of the state. A unique center for the interfaith dialogue. In September 2003, the initial Congress of Leaders of World and Traditional Religions was held in Kazakhstan, which since then has been meeting triennially in the capital of our country. An important platform for international negotiations. In 2010, Kazakhstan became the first country in the post-Soviet space to chair the OCE and hosted its Astana Summit. This event illustrated the international community's acknowledgement of the strong reputation and remarkable achievements of our state. A country that looks confidently to its future. A dynamically developing economy that has attracted more than 350 billion US dollars in foreign direct investment, with the country's GDP increasing 16 fold since independence. A nation that seeks to contribute meaningfully to global development. In 2017, Kazakhstan hosted the Expo International Exhibition, which one of the largest projects of the period of independence. 115 states were then represented in Nur Sultan, sharing their best practices and an enhanced vision for the use of the renewable energy sources. A recognized peacemaker and a leader of anti-nuclear initiatives. Over the 30 years of independence, our country has established itself as a reputable voice in the international efforts to ensure global peace and security and an active supporter of multilateral diplomacy. Maintaining continuity with the previously chosen course, today's Kazakhstan, under the leadership of President Kasim Jomar Tokayev, is carrying out systemic political and economic reforms, creating all the necessary conditions for implementing the potential of our citizens and the entire society. A nation that is open to the whole world, prosperous, welcoming, innovative and ultimately unique in many ways. This is our Kazakhstan. Congratulations, dear Kazakhstan. Congratulations, friends.